<laughs> so we just saw this amazing job that you're working on, John. And one of the things that really struck both of us, both John Leahy and I, was the colors. Those are not everyday colors that we saw. How did you get to that color scheme? How, how did you get those colors replicated in that paint? Something I've never seen, you know, to date. I mean, I've been doing this now for over 20 years and I've never seen, you know, particularly the depth of color um, and the clarity of color, no muddiness involved, uh, but still the paint covered really well. And I guess what we're, Robin's trying to ask and, you know, how it's did that? It's not off-white paint. No, it's not off-white paint. Uh, how did you do that? We were uncertain if we were going to be able to do it. So a little back ground on the job is we painted for the owners previously 15 years ago and uh, when they were going to build this new custom home uh, they brought us in because they had the owner had a vision of the colors that she wanted on these cabinets uh, it's a very there's a lot of natural light we call it light real estate so whenever you have a high reflectant seal uh, surface it um, reflects everything so the upper level has this grand view of downtown Seattle it's quintessential new modern Seattle and uh, she presented some ideas on color we started a, 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 a house idea book and they were based on photographs and we started with Pantone colors as a baseline and of course everybody knows it um, Pantone is ridiculous to try and match from a paint store perspective because they're printers inks right P Pantone is a is a color system as, as everybody knows for everything that needs that needs to specify color from automobiles to appliances to fabrics it's a baseline and they're different you know without getting too technical it's a lot paint sometimes is more difficult to reproduce than print for example primarily because not only is paint aesthetic its primary purpose is to protect its surface whether it's wood metal etc you know we protect our ships across the oceans with paint and you know the the basis of fine paints of Europe is an enamel is a marine grade enamel to protect exterior substrates in Europe. I mean, I mean in the in the Netherlands. Yeah. You, you know that's the original basis of it. So. So it's not a wimpy weather situation. It's not a wimpy weather situation. It just so <laughs> happens that this particular paint is the highest happens to be the highest gloss. And from my personal experience, I know that any time you put a clear coat, which could increase the gloss, it muddies the color. So the because colors are. The clear coat actually ambers over time too. It does. Uh, no matter what anybody says, that's our, that, that is our experience. Yeah. So the colors are a purple, which shifts in bright light, and it looks black in some lights. Uh, a very, very bright, intense orange, and a very, very unique, full yellow that's not too acidic. And there's a lot of natural wood in these. 